a super marked out at the end. Uh, pasty. Oh, yeah. Sammy Callahan walked up to Tessa Blanchard, who's sitting in the corner, defeated. He has a black bat in one hand, a gold bat in the, the other. The gold bat was hers. She came down with it in the beginning of the match. Thank yes. you. Yes. Exactly. And he's ready to beat the shit out of her. Or at least she thinks so. And he looks at her, and he hands her her golden bat. And he gives it to her, and he leaves the Immediately ring. Immediately vacates. And lets her absorb the adulation of the fans. Oh, I marked out so It was the, the most pace I've ever seen Sammy Callahan in my life. <laughs> oh, this was the best. This, there was no other ending Dude, to this Dude, if she doesn't paper. join this OVE, was the I'm going to freak out. She, could you imagine if she joined OVE? That would be that would be insane. Oh, I don't care if she's from Ohio or not. I know I she's think, a Car- I, I know she's, she's a Carolina girl, <laughs> but still, yeah. Uh, this was this was this was the best way to end the pay per view. Might not have been the best match, but that the way I want to know who fucking wrote this. Who is writing this for Impact right now? Because that honestly, the chemistry they have in the ring, I almost have story. to wonder if they don't have something going on behind the scenes. They might, and I fuck. I'd be all for that. <laughs> yeah, that'd be better than Seth and Becky, uh, or at least as good. I love them too. Yeah, WWE is gonna I fuck love it the up. Men. Yes, they WWE are. is gonna make it so Becky breaks up with him just because she doesn't want that shit on TV. Uh, <sighs> now we went way long on this, and I knew we were going to pasty because we. Oh fuck! I because we didn't even say half the good no, things we no, wanted to say about it. So Am I much, right? So much good to say. Um, so let's get, let's just fucking get, first of all, everybody watch this match or watch this pay-per-view. Yeah. If you don't watch this pay-per-view, three hours watch of your time, the very Monsters worth Ball it. Match. Easy to digest. Fucking do it. Um, I gave, I gave it an A plus grade. Pasty, would you give it? I gave it an A just because I wasn't mentally present for all of it. And I didn't think it's fair to give it an A plus, but that still and rounds that it out at a solid A. That gives it a solid A. Uh, match of the night, you and I both agree. Monsters, Monsters Ball. Ball. Oh, fuck. God. That, 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 I, I <sighs> honestly, I honestly don't think any match is fucking superseding that could, this year. If we ever did a category of match of the decade, this could still be a contender, I think. Oh, my gosh, it could. <laughs> but talking about decades, <sighs> those are knocked down into years, which are knocked down into months, which are knocked down into weeks. And pasty, we have the weekly elite dirt sheet. That's right, Fat Mac. And in our top news, in a recent interview, Kenny Omega confirmed that there will, in fact, be an AEW video game. With news that Ukes is developing a new wrestling game. The obvious rumors are Ukes and AEW are partnering up for this release. And how great would that be? Because the last time WWE made one good wrestling game, it was with Ukes. I'm surprised they're a company that still exists. Um. So honestly, I don't know Ukes. Which WWE game was that? that? Was, I think that was pretty much everything from the N64 through the PS2. Was yeah. it? See, I was a WCW guy, so I, we didn't get Ukes. It was. It was um, definitely cool. the SmackDown versus Raw games and and that. Okay, so that's yeah. awesome to hear. Because first of all, I didn't know what Ukes was, so I was kind of worried when I heard this mm-hmm. news. The fact that they have. Uh, experience in the wrestling genre of video yep. games makes me all the more faithful to it. And just the fact that they're going to have one. They, it, it's the too first soon one doesn't have for them to be, be saying they're going to have one. Well, no, they're not saying that it's coming out this no. year. They're saying they're definitely going to make video games. And I games. mean, that's, anybody that's who what knows it is. Kenny Omega or the Bucks would automatically assume, yeah, they got to have a game eventually. But the news that this is coming, if, if the news breaking now before they're even on TV, to me, is huge. Yeah, it, but can it be that hard to make? I mean, let's say you make a pro wrestling video game of 16 wrestlers. Yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't take time. No, I mean, it doesn't have to be 75 like your current fucking uh, Mortal Kombat. You know what yeah. I mean? You can have 16 wrestlers and just and work on the actual wrestling in the ring, the gameplay. I want I want more fleshed out like career storylines with branching paths and and like the exploring well, the backstage and getting into brawls with people because you say the wrong thing to them and shit like it used to yeah, be. Yeah, but that that's not happening with their first release because 
A, they're not going to I'm telling it. you, Uke's made those games. Those kind of games. Yeah, but AEW doesn't no. have any backstage shit. They don't, but they have very creative minds amongst them. I think, well, first I think of they all, could deliver a hellishly out, solid product. I guess to me, put out a base level product for your first one and then move up. Yeah. Don't sell yourself too high and then and then do WWE 2K where you're just reproducing the same game over no, and over I, again. I don't think they would do that either. And I, I know that their goal isn't to put out annual games either. But, uh, hey, AEW's done just great things for the wrestling world so far. I'm looking forward to AEW doing great things for the video game world, too. Because wrestling games I, have been what? so shitty for so long, I forgot what a good wrestling game is like. I I completely agree. And you know what? It, it's easy to forget those kind of things. In fact, Pasty Booker T forgot a certain date recently. Yes, he did. Um... We got to talk about this, folks. This is an update from last week on Booker T's show Hall of Fame. He cleared the air on the Starcast misunderstanding that we talked about. I believe it was just last mm-hmm. week. He said, "Quote: This is the way it went. Conrad texted me a date that he wanted me to do an autograph signing. That autograph signing was August thirty first. That date was in Chicago. Cool beans." He told me all of that, but what he didn't tell me was that it was for StarCast. I didn't know it was StarCast. I didn't find out it was StarCast until Brad, who is his um, co-host on his show, you text me, he said, saying, Hey, Booker, you doing StarCast? And I said, No, sucker! I'm not doing StarCast. <laughs> Brad says, Well, they're advertising you. Booker said, immediately I put a tweet out and said that I wasn't going to be doing StarCast just because I did not know that Conrad booking, that the Conrad booking was StarCast because he did not say it was StarCast. He said it was an autograph (laughs) signing. Well, first of all, I'm I'm really, wow, I'm super on the fence about this. Because Pasty, StarCast, or um, Conrad does a ton of shit. Think of all the live shows he put out that have nothing to do with StarCast. He does 83 weeks. He does What Happened Wednesday. Yeah, but does, you're not going to do uh, autograph signings on a podcast. No, but no, they do live shows oh, m- I suppose. multiple times each year where they would do autograph signings. Yeah, he does. <sighs> uh, he does those. Uh, he's got to do easily 12 a but year. But honestly, if you're Conrad and you're trying to get WWE-ish guys, you're not going to say the name StarCast. But, so that opens my question. First of all, I, I'm i probably thinking Booker's probably being honest. He didn't know this was StarCast. Booker works WWE. Mm-hmm. He has his own wrestling promotion. He does a ton of events. He probably doesn't know when StarCast is happening or even where. I, I would, I would, that's believable, I think, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, I don't think Booker T's a liar. Why would Con- and I love Con- everybody listening to this knows I'm on Conrad's nuts. Mm. I want to be the next Conrad Thompson. I think Conrad's doing dirty by not saying this is a star cast event. Why would he just say, "Hey, come and do an autograph signing this day, this time, this place"? <laughs> do you think that's kind of dirty? Well, or do you think, do you think Conrad did, didn't mean past anything is wrong? Dirty. Making Undertaker pull out and Ric Flair pulling out, not necessarily because of Pacey, WWE. But Pacey. Yes. Pacey. Let's not say that the girl that drank underage deserved to get raped. Okay? So let's throw that let's throw that out. <laughs> okay. Who cares? Okay, who cares what WWE's done in the past? Conrad should be an upstanding person. We don't want him to be WWE, right? Mm. Uh-huh. Did did was he was he did he just not think about it, or was he being malicious? What I think, think it was malicious. I do. Hmm? I also think that I mean it's Conrad Thompson and Booker should have kind of just did the math. You know, he should have looked one into plus it. one equals Shucky Ducky Quack Quack. Um, I mean, StarCast is like, it's Conrad's big thing outside of the podcasting now. And if there's a big event and he's trying to get you for it, it's probably StarCast. 
I understand. Yeah, but nobody knows when Starcast is going to be because it's it's been completely pretty random right now, right? Is it, yeah. I, I, you know what? I, I'm a hundred percent. I a hundred percent agree with you. I think. I think Conrad kind of knew what he was doing. He's just playing it, playing but, it safe, is the way I would like to state it. <laughs> like, but I think he's playing it safe. Yeah, I'm with you. He's he's booking people ahead of time. Undertaker, Booker T, whoever else, and hoping that maybe they'll just let it slide. Mm-hmm. It'll go under the radar, and that's. From you know what I, I say this a lot about WWE. I'm going to say it about Conrad. From a business perspective, that's smart. Yep, that's smart. So yes, um, but if you I'm, have I'm to point defending. a finger and play the blame game, yeah, I think Conrad is the. It's on Conrad. He's the, yeah, yeah, easily. <laughs> he's the dirty easily dog in the situation. Conrad. Come on, yeah. Connie boy. Come <laughs> on. Oh, he, he's lighting a fucking fire. On your WWE pasty. Yeah. Just like last week, when a fire burned down the home of former pro wrestling star Don Wright, who with his wife Sandy are raising their five grandkids. Holy shit. It wiped out everything. Holy shit. But a GoFundMe has been created to help out the Wrights. Donations to will help with clothes, food, and school supplies for the children, ranging from ages four to fourteen years old. The original goal of well, what the fuck, Pacey? What does this have to do with fucking all elite wrestling? This is the weekly elite dirt sheet, dude. This should be in our normal savage sentiment. Well, sir, the original goal of five thousand dollars has been broken. Thanks. Okay, but this should still be in the savage set. Yeah, it should until I get to this. Thanks in large part oh, to that? AEW's John Moxley and Tony Khan, who each oh, donated shit. five thousand dollars to help break the goal needed. That's wow. stellar. If you would like to help out, the link is www.gofundme.com forward slash F forward slash a bunch of shit that I'm not going to read here on the podcast, but check the description because I'll put it there. Not only that, it is also on our Facebook page. Click the link. Yes, it is. Folks, I really recommend that you actually go to this GoFundMe because from all these GoFundMes that people get super fucking millions of dollars. Um, not today, but yesterday I clicked this link and went to it. Okay. Um, John Moxley gave $5,000. Tony Khan gave $5,000. The total amount raised was 10415 that means outside of John Moxley and Tony Khan, they've only raised four hundred and fifty. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Now, yes, they broke their five thousand limit, and yes, you may say, "Oh shit, they have enough, and that's fine." And they probably do. If you're hurting for cash, don't go out of your way to give to them. Take care of your family. But if you have extra cash, fucking drop them twenty, twenty five, fifty, a hundred. If you have it, it's it's worth it. Because people would do it for you. And the fact that the fact that less than a thousand dollars was raised other than these two people's five thousand dollars is It's that, sad. That hurt me when I see that. It's, like, it's borderline fucking, disgusting. It sent off fucking lights in my eyes that when I went and looked at it, I expected it to be like thirty two thousand dollars because everybody's jumping on it. No. No, they've let raised less than five hundred dollars, other than these two people. Yeah, um, get, get on there. I'd have to it. assume that a lot of people are like me and aren't exactly sure who Don Wright is, and myself included. And, and a lot of you listening know I. I tend to know a lot of the older or, or um, more obscure people. I don't know who he is, but you know what. If you're a wrestling fan and you have the money, just fucking go ahead and do and it. And I mean, uh, the if guy you don't and have his the wife money, are raising their five grandkids. We don't know what, we don't know fire, what the situation is behind that. I think that's enough that. to donate. No shit. We don't know the situation behind it, and it's none of our business, right? right. But yeah. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> this motherfucker. Come on. Right. He's obviously a good and charitable man in his own right. So, yeah. 
Jump over and help him out. Every dollar yeah, helps. Yeah, this isn't Jake the fucking Snake Roberts, <laughs> who you know is going to fucking take 5,000 of it. To-